Hey guys, so how would you like to learn how to create these patches? Stick around in this episode and you'll find out. So to create patches, we're going to use the materials that you probably already have in your supply closet and I'm just going to go over them with you quickly in case you don't. Temporary adhesive spray, felt, aqua top topping, and cutaway backing. And of course, you'll need some good fabric scissors. To create patches, you can either use felt or twill. Now, felt is more of the economical choice, but it also has its advantages. Like, it is very easy to work with, and the edges don't fray, so it comes out to be nice and clean. So we use one piece of felt and one piece of cutaway backing, and we use our adhesive spray to make sure that it's nice and flat, and that our uh, felt, since it is a kind of a stretchy fabric, that it's not stretching out too much. So now it's time to go ahead and pop this into the machine and I'm going to show you how to repeat your designs using your machine. Alright, so as you can see on my screen, I have a simple circle and that would be my die line for my patch. You can either have this as its own DST or it can be w within the DST of the patch. Now, if that's the case, you would have to set your machine on automatic manual and then that would be the first uh, color stop. So now I'm going to show you how to get this design to repeat. Now this, I'm using a square hoop, but you can also do this with uh, your largest hoop, which is your 22 by 14 inch hoop. And you can fit quite a few patches in there to really uh, speed up the production of your patches. So I'm going to go into my design set menu. And the third option down, we're going to see a few squares. The dark blue ones going horizontally and then some dark blue ones going vertically. So I'm going to start with the designs that I want going horizontally. Looks like I can fit about two patches in this size E hoop, so I'm going to click on the horizontal squares, press clear, put two, now press the enter button. So as you can see here, we only see one of our designs right here, even though our panel says two, and that's because they're just stacked right on top of each other. So we're gonna need to use this to make sure that we're selecting space in between our designs. So I'm clicking right here, right under the first option, and I'm going to put input my number. In this case, I want it to be 100. And you're going to have to play around with these numbers to make sure that you get the spacing that you want. This will separate my patches about two centimeters apart. So now we see two of my designs here. Now, I still have space for two more, so I'm going to go ahead and do the vertical side now. I'm clicking on the vertical. I'm pressing clear and I'm going to add another two to each. Press enter. And now those two are there, like I said before, they're just stacked on top of each other, so we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same space on the other side. So I'm pressing clear, 100, enter. Now I'm gonna press okay, and you can see it. So now it's time to escape and go back to my menu and make sure that I center the hoop so that it fits within the hoop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit trace. And once my design is traced, I can go ahead and press start. die lines and all I need to do now is to use my scissors to cut around the stitch very carefully but not on it because we don't want our uh, felt to separate from our backing. Alright so this is where our water soluble stabilizer will come into play. We are using Aquatop, uh, it's a form of Solvi, you can also use Ultra Solvi. Alright so I hope two sheets of Aquatop. Uh, it really depends on the weight of the fabric. I'm using two, but if you're using Ultra Solvi, it is a heavier stabilizer, so you can go ahead and use one. So as you can see, I'm using a smaller hoop right now than my hoop uh, E that I was working with, but this is just for demonstration purposes so you guys can see how we're doing the patch. Of course, you can repeat the same design repetition option that I showed you earlier on this hoop with the Aquatop topping or the Ultra Solvi uh, stabilizer. 
All right, so now I'm gonna switch to my patch design. Now I got this design from Urban Threads. It was designed to be a patch, so you have to make sure when you are attempting patches that it's digitized correctly to begin with. Now this came with two DSTs. One DST is just the running stitch, and then the other DST is the patch stitch. Now to save time, you can of course just use the patch stitch because the first color start on the patch uh, DST is going to be your running stitch. So what you can do is just set your machine on automatic manual and uh, have it complete the running stitch and then that way you don't have to go and look for the other design. All right, so I went ahead and I selected my design and I changed my hoop. Now all I have to do is set my machine on automatic manual and that's gonna tell my machine to stop after every color stop. And the first color stop is going to be the dye line and that is what's going to help us place our piece of felt so we can know where to place it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press start. <laughs> So as you can see, the machine stopped right after the dye line. Now we're going to use our frame offset feature to bring the frame out so that we can place this on top of our new frame. So I went ahead and sprayed some temporary adhesive spray on the back of the felt at the backing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and place it directly where the dye line is. Once you make sure you have your felt in the right place, you can bring your frame back out, back in. And now we can set our machine back to automatic. Once you press start, the machine will finish off the patch for you. Alright, so here we have our finished design and I'm going to show you guys how easily it comes off with the aqua top. All you have to do is kind of just pop it out and it will give you a nice clean stitch and a nice clean finish. Alright, so you've seen how easy it is to create patches on your embroidery machine. Now a lot of embroiderers go ahead and sell the patches on their own so that people can customize on their own garments. They can sew it on or they can use a patch glue to glue it onto their garment. All right, so there are several ways where you can get this onto the garment itself. You can use a special type of backing that will allow you to uh, iron it on. You can sew it on, or you can use your embroidery machine to applique it on. And if you do use that option of using your embroidery machine, you would need a special DST that's a little bit smaller than the size of your patch. And uh, you're going to need to create like a tack down stitch in the color of uh, the thread or the felt on the back of the patch so that you can't see it. So if you want to see more on how to get these patches onto your actual garment, stay tuned because we're going to be making another video strictly on that. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. I also want to invite you to connect with us on our Facebook group where you can ask questions and share your knowledge. You'll find the links I mentioned in the description below. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you back here next time.